Hello, hello, come play with us today. It's the Tarbush game. Hello everyone, ciao, buongiorno, buonasera. Another recipe from um, Venice today, Venice in Italy, sent by uh, Anne Mourier. She's confined in Venice for almost two months now, so to send her all our love from Brooklyn, um, we made recipes, she sent to us her favorite Venetian recipe. But before today, should we start the game? Yes. Yeah. So we start the Tarbush game today. So tarbush you see shuffle. One Tarbush what? Tarbush shuffle. That's called shuffle? I don't know. Shuffle? No. It probably has a name, but. Okay, you ready? Just him. The winner gets uh, a piece of chocolate cake. I just ate all the chocolate cake. <laughs> okay, one. You have to shuffle. Up. 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 <gasps> oh. Ready? Go. You, yes. say, you say go. Go. <laughs> Whoop, oh, no! <laughs> okay, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Ready? Go. Up. 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 Ready? You say go. Go. Pick one. Which one? I wasn't watching. Which one? Here, here or here? That one. Middle. Center? Yes. Up! Oh. You win! Look what's on it. Oh. <laughs> this is for you, Anne. A little heart. Thanks to Steven. Two hearts. Okay, we are ready. Today with us, a fabulous eat. Italian singer, Mina. Mina is great and uh, this song is one of my favorites. It's called Ancora, Ancora, Ancora. More, more and more. Hey, more Italian recipe. Today, what we do? Gamberi alla Bussara. So I checked what the meaning of Bussara. There is many meanings. There are three meanings. Busara, but the one I love the most comes from an old word, Italian word, um, means hidden because the, the the shrimp are hidden in the in the tomato sauce. I like this explanation. Get your own. so we need that the pan. Put I some. Maybe a little loud. The music is loud. Maybe. Why Stephen is always complaining about the music? Yeah, but this you have to eat. Okay, this that's you good. Have to, uh, okay. Just a little bit. Not too much. Like that? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so a little bit of olive oil here. And the garlic. Crunch it just like that with your hands. You cut here. And here, and keep the Even middle. Gisela said it was a bit loud. Gisela said it was loud? <gasps> Gisela said it's it's loud. Really Gisela loud. said it's loud. Okay. It's okay, you can do that. And what we need? The tomatoes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close. Tomatoes. The onion. So you've cut the tomatoes? Sorry? You've already cut the tomatoes. Yes, I cut the tomatoes already. You can use the... You can, use, uh, you can use a whole tomatoes if you want. But if you don't have whole tomatoes, you can use peeled tomatoes in a can, as long as they are good. The shrimp, shrimp is coming from Peerless Brooklyn. Go check uh, their Instagram account. The white wine, and I didn't have white wine this morning, so I decided to add sake instead. And I'm sure Anne won't be mad at me if I put some Japanese things in her recipe. So you peel the onion. You can hear the 
the oldies world now. You remember how to peel the onion without crying? Distance. Onion distancing. Oh, like that. Because if you come close, the onion spreads its water in your eyes and that's why you're crying. But if you stay far like that, you will never cry for any onion. Just for love. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> oh, like that, you see, the onion here, and you let the onion So make sure the heat is not too strong. Because the last thing you want is the onion to brown. You just want them to become translucent and to melt a little bit. We are good with the olive oil. The shrimp. So, we had a long argument with Anne about the shrimp. With the, how do you call that? Shell. Shell. Uh, no. Uh, yes. So skeleton? I don't know. Skeleton. Shell. Doesn't matter. Like. With or without that. So, uh, she said we. And I said, oh, maybe without. So I went online and I looked at all different Italian chefs, what they are doing. So oh. many of them were removing the, 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 sh the shell. Yeah, I think so. The sh the, removing the shell. I can't think of words. And I right. found one, Stefano. He's from Venice and he's cooking from his small kitchen in Venice. And... Um, he never, never, never removed the shell. Why? Because why would you remove the best, he said, of the shrimp? All the taste is in the shell. And actually I found another recipe somewhere else from a chef who removed the shell, but on the side he's making a broth with the shell. When the broth is, is ready, he's uh, crunching the shell in it and he takes this broth oh. to make the sauce of the Gambieri that seems like That's very fancy. So, to finish that, then I called back Anne and I said, okay, okay, we are going to keep the shell. And then she gave me the best reason to keep the shell. She said, because if you have the shell, you're going to put um, scampis and tomato sauce everywhere in your hands and then lick your hands and that's the best thing to do. So we are going to okay. follow her advice. Would you come here, Timo? Me. Okay, so you see the onion oh turn off the light here. I was complaining this morning because I think the light is not good on my, my side. My friend Jade calls them the peels. The peel of the... The peel. <laughs> like oh, the okay. Peel. So peel, skeleton. I like that. I like the you understand. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. Okay. So you see when the onion starts to be translucent like that. Oh, and by the way, this... I never did this recipe um, ever. It's the first time. So... If I do some mistake, please don't judge me. It's a premiere for me too. See? Smells good, remember. Cooking with your ears, ears with your eyes, with your smell, with your touch, with all your senses. To know if the if the oil is hot, just listen to it. Listen to the noise of the onion, not too strong. It's perfect, they want brown. Um, if you want to know if your, for example, your um, cake is ready in the oven, you wait until it smells. Not too long, not the burn, but as soon as you smell, there is the, the smell in the room, that means it's good. You do that every day, every day you say, oh, it smells so good, yeah, because it's ready. So here it smells so good because it's ready, the shrimps. And make sure they don't overlap. And 
go the heat a little bit higher. And you let them like that, two minutes on each side. And same, listen to the music, not me now. But the music of the shrimp. You see, you hear? The music of the shrimps. Lower. And in the meantime, we are going to make spaghetti with. Um, I asked Anne, what do you eat with? She said pasta, rice, or even better, bread. Just bread like that, but I've decided to make pasta spaghetti because I'm dreaming about spaghetti for two days now. I want to eat spaghetti. Okay, up, up, up. All right, two more minutes here. And I have to tell you also a story today. The third reason why I love Venice, I will tell you later. It's pretty. Huh? It's pretty. Yes. yes. Nice. Get ready with the plate because we are going to remove the the shrimp very soon. No, no, sorry. We don't remove the shrimp very soon. Take the white wine or the sake. That's what I did today. We have a dishwasher, Cindy. Who said that? Cindy said you must. You guys have, <laughs> have so many dishes to do every day. Okay, yes. Uh, Steven is doing the dishes actually every day. Okay, and when it's very warm like that... That's the name of our dishwasher, Steven. <laughs> and... You let it fume. You see all the fumes here? That's the good part of the alcohol. That's a good sign. That means the alcohol is evaporates and it gets going to get this a little bit thicker. Okay, move your shrimp in it. Then they get the maximum of alcohol up and more. It smells good, it smells like sake. Are you hungry? Yeah. Always hungry. The water of the pasta is boiling here. Shrimps. Voila. You see? You see how the... Oof, that's hot. You see how it gets... Thicker now. You see the difference between before? So you can take the sprout out like that. Like that. Up. Yeah. You can also remove the garlic, it's done. Get so all the best of the shrimp now is in the bottom of the of the pan. So scratch, scratch, scrape, 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 scrape the bottom. Okay, and oh. just do the tomatoes. Then the sauce, you put the heat a little bit higher and you cover. And here, pasta, spaghetti, oh. Spaghetti abuse. 
I have to fold the spaghetti in the water. You hear the, the tomatoes? Look at that. Yes, cover absolutely. Is that the pasta and the juice stays inside? I guess it's not very resistant to that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, come on, baby. Hey, spaghetti is 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. My, my, my uh, sauce pan is a little bit too small in spaghetti. I should have taken the biggest one. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're big, right? Of course. Yeah, they're big. They're big, 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 big long. I don't know. They are so very long. I guess they're into it. The other option is to cut them in two like that, but if you do that, what is that? So, oh yeah, not done. That's not okay. People kill you. So where do we? Uh, no, do it's, you... like, it's like if you eat peanut butter. Okay. So good. you should do it every day. That's what you're saying. How is the tomato? Look. And you can start now to crunch the tomato like that. And if you need a little bit more of water. If you think like it needs more water, the tomato, take the tomato, the water from the pasta. Yes. Why? Because the the the, the water of the pasta is full of starch. 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 It's full of starch, so that we thicken a little bit your. Um, your sauce. Never add starch just by itself. It's not very good, but this one is perfect. That's why when you cook pasta and you make a sauce with, when you when you drain the pasta, always leave a little bit of the sauce on the bottom. Okay, so now we crunch all of that. Look at that. Beautiful. I agree, Jade. It's better than YouTube cooking channels. Really? Oh, yes. do you think I'm going to be a you, you, uh, YouTube superstar soon? Yes. Please, do, do something with me. Make me a YouTube superstar. That's, that's what I want. Okay, you cover again. Green. Yes, Green. Nice. No. Okay. Now you can add so oh. salt. Not too much salt, I remember. Never. Pepper, yes. Lots. Now, look, it's very good, no? Let's add a little bit of water. Remember, all the water you, you put here, the water will disappear. So, do not be afraid to put water, because when you put water, it evaporates. We are made with water. I said that already, no? I think so. Today? 
No, I said that. This is your tagline? I guess, yes. Oh, I made up on it. It's like tomatoes. Hey, what are? Aren't we all just tomatoes? You want to try? No, thank you. No? No. It's too hot. I know it's too hot. Multitask. So you notice I didn't peel the tomatoes here. You should try. Oof. Oof. I didn't peel the tomatoes first because. Like um, uh, can multitask. Okay. Can you do what? I'm working on. I can make a dance when you do that. Yes. Um, because it's cherry tomatoes and they're organic, so and I, I just wash them. Oh yeah, let's go. Of course. Mm. You can definitely peel the tomatoes. And you won't have the skin if you don't like the skin of the tomatoes. Back here, inside babies. And now you lower the heat. And you let that cook four or five minutes until the pasta is ready. It'll be ready also in four or five minutes. Remember to always have a look, an eye on the on the sauce and make sure there is always um, liquid and if there is not enough liquid up from the pasta. The starch and look, look actually, look how the starch make your sauce very thick. Uh, thick enough, not very thick, just enough. It's perfect. One more. Anne, are you here? No, I don't think so. Anne is not here? I know. Oh. She didn't even bother to Come show on. Up. Yes. Okay, so if you're not here, Anne. Okay, we let that cook. We have like three minutes left. Should you tell your story? Yes, maybe I can tell the story? Yes. All right, let's go back here. Okay, let's uh, Steven install his camera. Mm -hmm. And while that is cooking, let's prepare the parsley, a few leaves of our parsley. We roll them together and you cut them very, very thin. <laughs> the windows are fogging up. It's hot in the yeah, it's true, it's fogging. Okay. Very small. So the parsley, nicely cut like that. Let's take this. This. Two more minutes. It's ready very soon. This is train the pasta. Something to hold. Show you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. So we made these three recipes from Venice this week, and um, I also told you uh, that there are three reasons why I love Venice. Tuesday, I told you about my parents in Venice. Um, Thursday, I told you about um, the Art Biennale with my friends, with Gisela, with my Christine, with Jean, and with many others. And the third reason today is very simple, it's Anne. You know, when we love things, very often we love them because our friends um, love the same thing. And uh, Anne fell in love um, recent, very recently for Venice and um, that's why she's stuck there um, right now. And um, thanks to her passion for Venice, she um, gave me another new way to see the city, to enjoy the city and to love the city. So if I love Venice and I love Anne, Anne loves Venice and loves me, everyone loves Anne, right? Is it true? That's, that's basic math, yeah. We love you, Anne. Okay, it's almost ready.
Do you know how to check if the spaghetti are cooked? Just throw it at the wall? No. Yes, there is this there is this thing. I never did it. No? I don't think it's ready. Does it work? Okay. Maybe it's because it's stainless steel. Maybe try the, try the other one. one. Try the cupboards. No, I show you my mom my mom thing. Oh I show you again? Try Come the one. Oh here. It's not nice to play with the you food. Just, yes it is. To no? play with the food, no. Oh. Not nice. Okay, I show you something else. That's you my favorite it. thing about spaghetti. And you look inside. And if it's still white inside, do you see do you see the difference? No. 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 If you see a little white dot inside the pasta, that means it's not cooked yet. If you see the white dot, if you don't see the white dot, I can see it here. But it's very hard to see. Well, maybe just the top. Maybe top I, need a, I need a larger plate. Can you give me a large, this, this one, please? The big one, the large one? Or a little small. Et voilà. Gambier. Gambier. Today, we stop here. We drain the pasta. Remember, up, keep a little bit of water. A little bit, not too much. That back here, a little bit of olive oil, little bit I said. Pepper. And join us. What? And it's here. And it's here. Hello Anne, welcome. shapes of pasta? Yes, you can make yes, any pasta. But, but again, I told you, I, I, made, I made spaghetti because I was dreaming about spaghetti for a couple of days. But yes, you can you can use any pasta you want, your favorite pasta. If, like Steven, Steven doesn't like spaghetti, for example. Yes, I like spaghetti. You love spaghetti? No, I, I, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like the shape. shape. You don't like spaghetti, so yes, you can use. But again, with bread and anything else, Great. Et voilà. Parsley on it. <clears throat> Et voilà. Mm. It's ready. What do you think? Mm. Yes? No? Yes. Gambieri. Alla Bussara. Voilà, we are ready for lunch now. Um, if you have any question, go ahead, ask the question. I have a couple of things to tell you um, for next week. Um, next week, only one um, live on Instagram. Two reasons for that. First reason, I'm taking a few days off. I'm tired and I want to rest a little bit. It's been like five weeks non-stop like that. But why only one? Because next week on Wednesday, the 22nd, is my lover birthday. So I will cook a birthday thing um, for him. And in the meantime, go check his Instagram account, Dog I Have Painted. And he's uh, making a giveaway. He's offering one of his um, sculpture for, um, for his birthday. So next week, see you only Wednesday. At 11 a.m., we change also. I change also the hours. 11 a.m. would be better. So it means 11 a.m. here. It's um, 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. in Europe. Um, for my friend from Paris and everywhere else. Oof, it's hot, huh? It is hot. Yes. Um, voilà. It's good for today. We are listening to uh, Mina, Simon. Thank you very much for the. Mm -hmm. Tarbush game. That was an idea from Simon. He told me this morning. Uh, we are ready for lunch. Ciao. Arrivederci. Ciao. And we love you. Come back, please, as soon as possible. Or we come to Venice very soon. Bye.